I see healers in every single one of you. And I see you advocating for your patients and for their caregivers. I am Kathy Latour, and I'm a two-time breast cancer survivor. 30 years. After reading through some of the different essays that we received, it is clear to me that an oncology nurse is somebody that goes above and beyond their call of duty with no questions asked. What you do and the stories that I've read are remarkable. What people do, they go beyond what the job requirement is. They care, they invest themselves in each patient. To help them have a wholeness of life as they move forward into survivorship. There's health and then there's care. And the care and the nurturing is, is, is the, one of the biggest parts of the work that they do. Letting them know and just holding their hand and sharing a hug. If you can make those difficult times a little less difficult, I think it's really important. Just be their guide. That's, that's what it's all about. Yeah, they have the technical side, but it's really the emotional side that has the most impact on the patients that they see. Please enjoy tonight, as it is time to celebrate the impact you have made on all of your patients' lives. I'm honored to be here, to be a part of so many before me that, that came here. Absolutely remarkable. It was a total surprise to me. It's good to know that you made a difference. You don't always know that on the day to day. And I'm extremely uh, grateful for all the recognition that is being brought forth for um, oncology nurses. And we're selected to be finalists and it means so much to me. To hear such a terrific essay written later about everything that went on was kind of cool to look back and see such a good success story. And because they are certainly on the front lines. And I think, um, especially with my experience with my mother, who was diagnosed in 97, had a long battle, and the nurses that were there that took care of her were exceptional. And I feel that it's important to honor them, their hard work, the dedication and, and passion and, and warmth uh, you know, they, they make a huge difference on the quality of life. So thank you very much. Enjoy your lunch. Tonight we honor one oncology nurse who exemplifies the commitment and compassion worthy of this prestigious award. I believe there's a powerful force of healing being brought to the world as we do our work and share who we are with each other. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage an extraordinary gentleman, Mr. Patrick Benson. To be here with the extraordinary healers, that's extraordinary. To give that much of yourself emotionally to someone makes a huge difference. What we need now is love and compassion more than ever. And it's harder now more than ever. Ian and Jackson got to know each other really well. He was there for quite a while. So I feel like when you form a relationship with someone like that and his family, so he went through some pretty tough times. The main reason for this triumph is people like Jess people who put others before themselves and truly care. Good to see the progress that he made and to see him walk again. I couldn't wait for the day he would be able to walk in. I remember walking in the first day. She was just so lovely of a person. She's someone who never stops caring and trying to make the world a better place. A true oncology nurse who I feel blessed to work with in. She not only was my mentor, but she became one of my best friends. Dr. Klingel is my uh, supervising physician. Uh, we work as a team on the oncology urology unit. I am truly blessed to work with her, and our institution is far better because of her efforts. He wrote this. Um, I didn't know anything about it until we were getting the calls. I 
wanted to be the one standing in front of all of you to tell you thank you. And thank you for everything that you do every single day. Because I know what you do. I've walked in your shoes and I've been a patient. And I can't thank you enough on behalf of my family what it did for my mother. The 2017 award winner is Sarah Sargenti. And now that my dad has recently been diagnosed with malignant melanoma, I want to dedicate this honor to him, to my dad.